Hi everyone, how you going? It's Bron here from Bron Freeze Channel. I'm at the beach again today. It's Sunday, it's about midday, it's quite warm. I'm sweating. The headphones are pretty hot, but I prefer to have them on because the waves are sort of crashing and the tide's coming in. Check out how beautiful it is. Yeah, pretty nice. Okay, well, I wasn't going to do a video today, but here we go. I've got a little target here. It's ringing up at 10, 11 on the Equinox. So I'm going to turn you around and let you have a look and we'll see what it is. I'm hoping it's just a coin for a change. I'm sick of bottle tops and sinkers. So let's dig it. Here we go. Let's go. I'll try and do it all with one hand. See how we go. Hopefully it's not too deep. Let's have a look. Have we got it? Grab the detector and have a swing. No, it's still in there. I'll dig it up and show you what it is in a minute. Okay, let's have a look. Now, I can sort of see it. There we go. Just a little swivel thing for fishing. Oh well, I've got plenty of sinkers to add to it to put up a rig together for the fishing rod. Let's go and have a look what else is out there, hey? Come with me. Oh, look, horses. They just went past as I was filming. I think I filmed these horses once before in a previous video. Yes, it's a beach where people come and they can ride their horses and gallop. Very cute. Lovely horses. I like them. Lovely horses on the beach. They'd be good backpack great, horses to carry metal detecting equipment. <laughs> hey? These two horses are really great mates. Thank Thanks you. ladies. No worries, thank yeah. you. I'll film you walking away if you like and then you'll have some footage to show your family. Brilliant. Thanks yeah, again. Have thank a safe you. ride. Bye for now. Yeah. <laughs> Aren't they amazing? What lovely people. Gorgeous horses on this in most incredible beach. Check it out, everybody. This is a wonderful life to have. Well done, ladies, getting out in the sunshine with those beautiful animals. Well done. Let's get back to some metal detecting and hopefully we'll see the horses again on the beach another day. Oh, the good old detector's waiting. Good thing it didn't wash away in this bit of surf. Yeah, look at that. Metal detectors and horses in the distance. Isn't that wonderful? Right, let's get back to it. Okay, uh, welcome back here. We've got another target. I've had to drag it from the ocean fairly quickly in the hole over there as the tide was coming in. And I've scooped it out and lo and behold, it's a coin of sorts. And I've got a lovely lady who stopped by and I said I'd bring it up to her so she could have a look. We haven't quite worked out what it is. Let's have a look. Oh, I've got the sun there. Yeah. Is it? Oh, I have to put my glasses on. Yeah, it's got riding around the edge. It's got riding around the edge? But, but it's got a middle bit. All right. Know. We don't have middle bits. No, it's unusual, isn't it? Mm. Well, there you go. The things you see when you walk past me on the beach. You yeah. found treasure with me. You've got your lovely dog there too. Yeah. I'll put my glasses on in a minute. Yeah. We'll have a quick look. Well, myself and that lady had a quick look and it looks like some sort of a Turkish coin. It's got T-U-R-K-I-T, Turkit, written on there and C-U-M-H-U-R-I-Y. I'm not too sure. It's definitely a foreign coin. And it's got 50, so it's like a 50, 50 some sort of... 50 cent I suppose that type of thing but it's definitely a foreign coin very exciting found in the water and dragged out from the uh, actual tide line to the dry area so we could have a look okay let's keep going that's pretty interesting put that in the bag and have a good look later if you know what it is uh, flick me a message let me know <laughs> what's your dog's name Maggie. Maggie, you brought me luck. I found a coin, I think. Oh, good. Yeah. Let's go and grab it. Here it is. What do we got? Five cent piece, 
Maggie? Five cent piece. <laughs> Five cents richer. Thank you. It's a nice place to be. Got lots of people stopping by today to say hello at this glorious location. Let's keep going. And now we've got another target. Let's have a look. What is that? Oh, it's just a little somebody's zipper. The poor thing on the zipper. There we go. A lot more interesting finds today at this beach than my yesterday's adventure. It was all sinkers yesterday. Today it's uh, coins and other objects. Very interesting. Howdy -oh. Having a great day. I'm going to keep going. I can't seem to stop myself. It's glorious. Brought me more luck, sweetheart. Look at you. You are just absolutely divine. We got another coin. What do we got? Oh, it might be a thrippence. <laughs> a Maggie's. Maggie's owner's here, but I won't get you in the footage. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah. oh, have a look awesome. at that. You can have a look and then I'll film that later. Hey, Maggie. You're a gorgeous dog. Is it a one set piece that's worn down or has it got like Trying the to. markings of, of like three wheat leaves, like a threepence? I honestly can't even see it. There's Lucky. something in the middle. Feels like a threepence. Yes. Very thin, very faint. I've just got your hand there in mm. the footage. It's wonderful that I can share these finds with people because yeah. I have found some incredible old coins on this beach. Right, yeah. Yeah, that is, that is a little threepence. Wow. Very old. Here you go, threepence. Nice. Okay, we've got another target here ringing at 1516. I'll start digging in a minute because I've got to beat the waves. It's very hard to gauge when the wave's coming and when to dig and when to get out the way. So I'll grab it up and take it back a bit and show it to you in a moment. Okay, this one was ringing up at... Uh... Oh, what is that? It was ringing up at 1920. I have no idea what that is. There you go, just some sort of a little spiky thing. I don't know. Yeah. Almost like the end of a screwdriver at the bo bottom here. Interesting. Well, there you go. 1920 on the Equinox. From that hole, drag back over here to keep it out of the waves. There you go. Let's put that one in the bag. Wow. As you can see, oh, it's hard work pulling up a wet sand out of the water. Hard work, but got to get it out of the way so that I can see what's in there because the wave comes and buries my hole very quickly. Let's have a look. There we go. Okay, exhausting. Something ringing at 1718. Let's hope it's a coin. Go down, have a look. Well, I have no idea what that is. Wow. If you know, let me know. Well, what's a uh, beach day metal detecting without a uh, ring pull? Old one. Ooh. My hole in. There you go. Another ring pull for the ring pull necklace. Oh, I've got to move my gear. Well, look at that. We've even got a surface find. Didn't even have to dig a hole. Fabulous. What are they? Sunglasses, obviously. Oh, not too bad. They might be alright once they're cleaned up. Okay, let's keep going. Got to do it all along there and head back to the car. Oh, we're on our hands and knees for this one. Oh, might pay to turn on the pinpointer. 
I sometimes have trouble with this pinpointer. I've got to turn it on and off again. Very annoying. And then I've got to wait for a click. And I tap it to test it on my ring on my hand. I do have a new one. It just hasn't arrived yet. It's in transit, so to speak. Oh, so annoying. If Mind Lab's watching, can you send me another one quickly? Oh, come on, come on. This thing. It's like a round lead thing. I don't know. Yeah. It's ringing at 1920 on the Equinox 800. So, put that in the pouch. Keep going. Okay, got another one of these things. It's like a, feels like a piece of brass. Something. Very unusual. Pointy, smooth, and then flat. Oh well, let's bury that giant hole and keep going. Well, another great day detecting. I uh, had a lot of fun and uh, a nice warm day brought some people out. So see all the people over in the distance? They're going to lose stuff and I'm going to find it, hopefully. Um, cool tractor over there and that person has a jet ski that they've put out in the water out there somewhere. So yeah, summer is on its way in Australia, so this is uh, a great day today. Alright, thanks for joining me. I'll show you all the finds later when I've uh, got back up to the car. And once again, I appreciate you for taking the time to watch my channel. That's all for now. So it's bye for now from Brad. Well folks, it's the end of the day and here is all the things that I have found today at this beach. It's been quite lucrative actually. This section up here, all of that, is sort of the rubbish section. This down here, these four items, they're the uh, sinkers. And that's a swivel for fishing and a pair of glasses up the top. And this is a piece of brass. I'm not too sure what that is. It's quite heavy actually, really heavy. And then this thing, well, I have no idea what this is. It's black on the inside. Looks like it's been split open. And uh, it's got like a little spout thing. No idea. Anyway, interesting. Five cent piece. Australian five cent piece is one of our finds. So, try and zoom in. Queen Liz on the back. Yeah, there you go. Not too bad. Plenty of those around. Now, this is an interesting coin. This is... 50 Turkish Kurus, I think it's pronounced. It's Turkish currency and a very interesting coin. I've never ever found a foreign coin in Australia. So this is my first Turkish piece of currency that I found. Really interesting. Yeah. So that was the... Uh, Good one for today now the pride and joy now i'm in my car so i'm trying to do my best here now this is a king george the sixth and it's actually a sixpence not a threepence as i thought so this is my pride and joint joy today absolutely love finding australian pre-decimal coins so this was found on the water's edge i think if you look back through the video so king george the sixth sixpence lovely coin very happy with it right there we go let's head home and have a cup of coffee bye for now